It's a segment that's only uh, lifts the spirits, but will also make you smile. Jordan has today's positive vibe. That's right. Ready? Oh, yeah. You know, we've rounded up uh, some fun and inspiring videos to get you going on this Sunday. And we'll first start off with a family. It is the Cheatham family, a young couple with seven kids, all under the age of eight. And they take homeschooling to a new level. Check this out. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, and Z. Now you know your A, B, C. Next time, won't you say? Oh, yeah. That is Aaron and La Tovia uh, Cheatham. They practically have a full classroom of kids. And they oh post videos goodness. on social media showing oh, the cute. family's fun side. Yeah, and they give life. Uh, they say they're giving life their best shot. And they just want to share their unique everyday world. But seven kids, all over the age of eight, and they are going strong, showing that uh, you don't have to take life too seriously to enjoy these days. All right, well, next up here, how well do you appreciate your ice cream man? Well, for one community in Tustin, California, they've been showing a whole lot of love. Ice cream man Jose Ortega has been a regular in Tustin neighborhoods for many, many years. But then the pandemic hit and the familiar sound of his truck faded. He did start dishing out treats again, but suddenly he wasn't around. Neighbors heard that he actually had a heart attack and they decided to start a GoFundMe campaign to help raise money. And Michael Hatcher organized a three-day fundraiser and was able to surprise Ortega with a check for over $10,000. Look at that. They love their ice cream man for sure. Well, from a prosthetic leg with LED lights to another shape like a machine gun, 12 female models hit the runway Tuesday out in Japan showing a wide variety of eye-catching prosthetics. Now, the event was staged on the original opening day of the city's 2020 Summer uh, Paralympics before the Games were actually postponed due to coronavirus. Now, with the Olympics and Paralympics both postponed for a year, the fashion show went ahead anyway. And you can see the ladies there rocking their uh, prosthetic limbs huh. you know, all wow. on the runway. Organizers Takao Ochi says that COVID-19 inspired him to stage the fashion show. The Paralympics are now scheduled to open on August 24th, 2021. It will feature about 440 or 4,400 Olympians. It's uh, the regular Olympics though, scheduled for July 23rd, 2021. All right, and finally, a video showing what pure joy is all about. Now, when Josh asked his brother Chris to be his best man, this was his true reaction. Check it out. Will you be my best? What? Be your best man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. You want yeah. to be my best man? Yeah! <laughs> Oh, that is pure happiness right there. Now, Chris and his mom, they actually own a coffee shop out in Roanoke, uh, Virginia, where they employ people with disabilities. But once he heard that uh, his brother asked him to be his best man, he was just jumping for joy. So some positive, positive vibe this morning. I like that. To start you off. I like that, Jordan. Thanks. Mm -hmm.